drills and teaching aids. So what I have here is hula hoops placed at different yardages. I have the first hula hoop out at 80 yards for this away from where they're chipping back here. Uh, two hula hoops for landing zones uh, for the students to head into. Uh, that's 60 yards away. Uh, right up here, I got two blue hula hoops for the landing zone for pitching, uh, which is 40 yards away. And then which is 20 yards away, I got three of them, so it's evenly spaced. I have the red hula hoops uh, for landing zones for doing pitching today as well. And then I have each station set up with alignment sticks. And what we're going to be doing today is making sure that ball positioning is correct in our stance by making tees with our alignment sticks everywhere we go. And then after we're done doing that, what we're going to do is hit chip shots or pitch shots uh, from 20, 40, 60, and 80 yards away onto the uh, green uh, to figure out if we can transfer uh, that success from the chipping uh, practice area, from the pitching practice area, sorry, onto the green right over here. Use of teaching aids and drills. So again, we have all the golfers tees at their feet. Alignment stick at the feet is pointing to where we want to go. It's all right, Damon, they lift, lift it up there a little bit. And then the other stick is in the middle of our feet, and that's a point of reference for where our golf ball needs to be. And then as we move to different hula hoops, we need to make sure that we're changing our alignment stick at our feet to make sure it's pointed in the correct direction every single time as we move to different hula hoops. So we got a tee at our feet, hula hoops out at 20, 40, and 60 yards, and 80 yards, excuse me, and we're getting our distance down using our alignment as our point of reference, uh, taking shots uh, each by each.